Our Reiner Township Design Review Board meeting. Uh, if you haven't, uh, haven't already done so, we please ask you to turn off your cell phones. Uh, keep in mind these meetings are televised live. On, when you approach the podium, please let us know who you are, the business you represent, and you can lay your plans out on the desks next to the podium. So before we get started, we're gonna ask Cindy Ritz <coughs> to lead us in the Pledge of Allegiance. It's my specialty. <laughs> I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thank you for asking. Okay. I'd like to thank everybody also who was here last month. Uh, we had a little conflict, and unfortunately we had to postpone the meeting until tonight, so thanks for all coming back. So we've got kind of a long agenda. We'll try to move, move it through pretty quick tonight, and we're gonna start with uh, DRB 2016-31 the application of Bank of America at 217 East Lancaster Avenue in Wayne for some changes to the building. Hi there. Hi. 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 My name's Jacqueline Mentis from Project Expeditors on behalf of Bank of America. Nice to have you here. Thank you, it's nice to be here. Thank you. If it's easier for you also, we have a handheld mic. Be good. Okay. Um, but oh, I'm sorry, yeah. Could you lay that down flat for See yeah. this? We can see it on our screens, though. Okay, great. Perfect. Yeah. Thank you. The bank is looking to install um, exterior lighting upgrades for the ATM machines that are currently on site and accessed 24 hours. Um, one in the front of the building in the interior vestibule area, the other in the back of the building in the drive-through. Um, the bank is proposing to replace a number of fixtures in the back. Um, all fixtures are to be LED, which are more energy efficient, cost effective, and last longer than um, typical incandescent bulbs and fixtures. We're also looking to install two light poles and fixtures towards the front, the front entrance off of Lancaster Avenue, as well as installing some wall-mounted fixtures below the existing awnings, as well as higher on the building. Um, the bank standards and regulations for ATM security are what we use to um, calculate the lighting required on site um, to meet and illuminate 50 feet from the ATM machines, um, a minimum of two foot candles in that dimension, which is where we're at right now. Um, is there any questions the board has? So are there two entrances into that ATM space? And there's only, is, is there an ATM around the back of the drive-thru or you just? Yes. Oh, there is, so, so there you, is you an, could pull up to an ATM on the back? You can drive, drive up through to there. the ATM oh. in the back through the drive-thru, and there is the walk-up ATM yes, in the Yes, I know that, where the, in that vestibule. Yep. So um, I'm, I'm looking, so the light is um, on over both doors into the vestibule? Correct. That's the back, right, that, that this, in the center, photos is that one in the center at the back of the building that is the side, side of the building here where there are um, three existing awnings okay okay i got it i got it so okay actually i'm sorry okay. actually you don't want to give you this okay. yeah Thanks. okay i see that now so we're proposing to install um on the left and far right canopies, under mm -hmm. those canopies, to wall sconces, um, noted on this drawing labeled GL1, which mm -hmm. also correlates to the plan, is one of the proposed light poles. There will be another one opposite that pole on the adjacent um, landscape area island. In the front, we're proposing three wall-mounted light fixtures want to confirm those are located at different heights on the building from the schedule. And could you point again on the plan or on the photographs where the light poles are going? Do I see, I see one light pole in the bottom right. One okay. light pole is here, mm -hmm. which is shown 
and marked in this photo as GL1, okay. um, right in front of that existing Bank of America sign. The other one is on the opposite side of this um, driveway entrance, mm -hmm. labeled um, G01. Okay, and then in the bottom right photograph, there's a light pole. Where is that? So these light poles are in the back. They're all existing, labeled mm -hmm. here. We just marked them in orange. Okay. Um, if you can see, mm -hmm. those are all existing poles that we're just replacing the light fixtures. So mm -hmm. they'll match the new light fixtures on the new poles. Um, we're proposing all bronze finishes, which is what's currently on site, um, except for the undermounted lights under the existing drive-through, <clears throat> yeah. those are white lights and they're just um, a flush, flat mounted, mm -hmm. I think they're about an inch and a half, two inches in depth. And what's the, I know you just said 50 feet, mm -hmm. but um, what about the up light? I don't know how to, the correct terminology for that, but I think that I heard that the upstairs of that building will now be a residence across the street. I know they're residents, so I was just wondering, will, will it, um, you know, will they be seeing those lights at night? Um, the lights above where we're at now, they're all focused down, they're all down lights. Okay. Um, they're LED lights. They try and mitigate any hot spots created mm -hmm. on the building, yeah. um, as well as kind of create a softer light spread mm -hmm. from them. Um, with the light in this back, the SK-1, mm -hmm. I mean, there will be light back there just because for security purposes mm -hmm. but it is shining but it down. shines down it's not shining yeah. into those windows right because the, yeah the residence is higher than that yes. light yeah okay i'm sorry i just I'm, took up no that's then that's fine it's, mm -hmm. that's terrific yeah david any questions Comments? no okay no i think it looks nice mm -hmm. yeah it looks like Security is a big issue, yeah. almost exactly. with that. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah. it's all, all right. for security for mm -hmm. the the two ATM machines that mm -hmm. are twenty four hours. So mm -hmm. they will be on all night. Yep. Mm -hmm. um, and uh, I believe the cut sheets are provided in the plans okay, for good. that type of fixture, but they're bronze to match the existing fixtures on mm -hmm. site. Mm -hmm. Okay. And, and one question with the um, in the back of the building, the lights. That actually, they're still going to be focused on coming from the top going down towards the ground or the existing light poles well no with what you're current with what you're proposing yeah with what we're proposing um no lights are proposed to be tilted i'm just double checking that no they're all standard light pole okay. mounted all lighting downwards um including the under canopy lights they're all uh, flat lens all the light will be shot down nothing is tilted or oriented to shine up and out. And what's on the other side of the back wall? So, um, that's residence, right? Uh, and I'm referring to this photograph, sorry. <clears throat> this photograph, so you have the back of the build, back of the bank is right here, you have a wall here. Yep. And then you have, so what's on the other side? Is that residence? Um, I believe it is. And, I'm, and then you, there's foliage. There is foliage. That's blocking it, right? That's my, my concern is the, if there's gonna be any, are they going to be impacted by any of the lighting yeah. with what you're proposing Did you want me to ask that? on the back side? We are proposing to trim the trees in the back. We're not proposing to remove any. Do you own those trees? Uh, they are within our property, I believe all of them, except for the trees in the front, which we will request from the town to either trim or we'll get tree permits to trim those. Um, but the back trees are all within the property line um, shown on the plans okay. that we're proposing to trim behind that wall. All right. Um, all right. I just want to see if I have a map here. There are residences behind us, yes. So we're trimming the trees the least possible just so mm -hmm. that they don't interfere with the light poles and the light that we're trying to get on our property. Understood. Um, and none will be removed. So there will okay. still be that screening. Okay, I'm just sensitive to the residents behind the residents if they're going to have back. an issue having big, any lighting that's going to be impacting. And the lights in the back, they're all existing. Okay. Um, mm -hmm. We're not putting any new lights in the back. The two new poles are just in the front. Um, so there really should not be an increase. There all will be LED fixtures, which will hopefully even create a softer light than what's existing there now. Okay. And there is no change to the light poles, this, the standard Wayne light poles, which are in town. They'll be... The, the light poles on yeah, the street. Yeah, you can see. Let's see if I have a good picture. We are not touching. So they them. stay. 
Um, yeah, actually, in our one rendering here at the bottom, I don't know if those were included in the package that you received. Yeah, we're not yeah. touching those. We have this. This is a good photograph of you're, that. You're referring yeah. to the Art Deco style? Yeah, the yeah. Art, yeah, the ones that we have throughout Wayne. So, yeah. Yeah. yeah, those are not our light poles, and we are not touching them. Nope. Hmm. Okay, that's good. All right, good. Okay, all good. All right, any other questions, okay. comments? No. Nope. Do you have any questions for the board? I don't think good? so. Okay. Would like to make a motion? Sure. In the matter of DRB 2016-31, Bank of America, their application for lighting changes and additional lighting, I move that we accept the proposal as presented. Okay. Do I have a second? I second. Okay. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Okay. Thank you. Thank you so much. Okay. You bet. Mr. Chairman? Yeah. Yes. May I remind everyone that they will still have to apply for permits oh. and you will still have to meet all the zoning and lighting codes applicable. So we're, okay. we'll get a review of light right. spread and all the other that goes and comes into play, height of the poles and everything. Great. Thank you. Okay. All right, next is DRB 2016-33, the application of EDA Enterprises at 110 West Lancaster Avenue in Wayne, zoned under the Wayne Business Overlay District for a ground sign. Hi, Stacy. Great. Hi, my name is Stacy Ballard. I'm with EDA Enterprises, and we own the property that is called the Old Wayne Library at 110 West Lancaster Avenue. Um, and we were here, I believe it was the end of last year, for this exact sign, and we were expanding the sign a little bit. Um, we had a small problem with an underground uh, stream that we didn't know, and it almost swallowed the whole sign, and so we had to take the whole thing apart, and now we need to just rebuild it to be exactly the same. But in that time, Wayne Pediatrics merged with um, uh, Nemours DuPont Pediatrics, and so it made sense to come back in and have you look at mm -hmm. what you had approved before and the only change from that is that instead of saying Wayne Pediatrics, we have the uh, DuPont sign. Okay. And so okay. that's what we're here for. Okay. All right, so you got full approvals before, mm -hmm. no yeah, problem. I'm, yeah. Okay. All right. I'm, I don't see. It's, it's pretty cut <laughs> and dry. It, yeah, and it's not lit. Right? It's not. No. Like, yeah. yeah, it's no. pretty uh, standard. And yeah. it will be in the same location, mm -hmm. right. and it will be structured the same way the last sign was. I can't and the a stream there. Yeah, yeah it was oh. quite a bit. That's right off a of in front of the building. Right on Lancaster Avenue, and it's in that grassy area in front of the building. Um, yes. Is it? Okay. That must contribute yes. to all that flooding down from the, yeah. uh, the uh, fire building. Fire yeah. house, we yeah. had no idea, but there was a big underground, and it must have been built at some point because it was a beautiful, beautifully stone-like um, cavern that was built, and it just had started to deteriorate, mm -hmm. wow. and literally the ground was dropping into it. So they went in and, you know, fixed it and well, did what they needed to do to reinforce it. So. History. Yeah. But this looks cool. That yeah. looks fine. Good. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, it's great having them there. Stacy, mm -hmm. you got a lot of banners up there. Yeah, uh, and okay. then, yeah. <laughs> they asked for one, and then I, I drove by as I was coming here. I'm like, right. oh, great, there's three. Okay. And, and they're really just trying to. Um, yeah. Okay. Yeah, we'll All get right. that under control. Okay, good. Thank All, you. Right. All of those will be gone once the right. sign goes up. Okay. So how, is it how far along is it's complete? Isn't it the, the rebuilding? It's all been finished. You Everything's haven't... done, and the grass has been planted, and yeah. everything else. And then we were waiting for them to give us what their sign was going to mm -hmm. look right. like, right. and for the merger to happen. So that took a little bit of time. And as soon as we get the approval, we'll apply for the permit, mm -hmm. and then we have the contractor ready to go. Okay. Uh, Stacy, did material will match existing then? They're, they're... It, it matches everything existing. Okay. Okay. from what we had approved before. Okay, and just make sure when they fasten the sign. Oh yeah, you won't you be able see to see it. Yeah, exactly. It, it, there, are, there are pieces that mm -hmm. go like this and the sign literally slides right over right. it. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. You're gonna keep the books on top or not? There's debate on the books. Gotta keep them. I know, right? <laughs> yeah. We may have to update the titles. That's all right. Yeah, yeah. they look good though. I know, they're yeah. good. Well, it's so historic, you know, it's historic. And didn't the library move back in there for a while? Yeah, they did, they were there now. for a year. Yeah. yeah. So. Come on. How fun books. is that, right? Gotta yeah, it's them. cute. Yeah. yeah, I like it for books. Yeah. But, all right. Okay. Okay. Great. All right. Any other questions? No. Comments? No. Okay. okay. Mm -hmm. You're right with us. Much. Okay. David? Mm -hmm. In the matter of DRB 2016-33, EDA Enterprises uh, application for the approval of a monument um, uh, sign in front of the building, I submit for your approval. Okay. Do I hear a second? Second. Okay. All in favor? 
Aye. Okay. Thanks, Stacey. Thank you. Next, we have DRB 2016-334, the application of McCluskey Financial Group at 115 Bloomingdale Avenue in Wayne for a ground sign. Hi there. Tim Long from Elmark Science representing McCloskey. Okay. Um, you can see we replaced the original sign that's over on the left hand side there mm -hmm. with the one in the middle, same size and on the same post. Right. Mm -hmm. Looks pretty mm -hmm. good. Yeah. The, the, only, the only comment I have is we just can't have the, uh, the little oh, sign swing. at the bottom swing. It needs right. to be secured. Okay. But. Uh, I don't know if that's actually swinging or not. There's two two chains coming yeah. down. But they might be. They could be fixed. They could be. Yeah. They just, need to be fixed. Yeah. Okay. Just take a look at that and right. make sure. Yeah. But we can do that. Other than that, it's. I think it's looks very. It looks I mean, very the sign's nice. up. It looks yeah, good. I yeah. I saw it already. It looks. I was. I drove by yeah. look at it today. It looks great. Yeah. yeah. Great. And uh, you've got a nice little landscape bed and mm -hmm. pretty, pretty cut and dry. You got your address on there, which is terrific. Um, yeah. Nothing else you're going to do there, right? And that's yeah. that's pretty much it. So, David, any no, no. any comments on no, that? No, I think it looks great. Yeah. Okay. All right. So. So, in the matter, did you want me to do it? Why not? I just figured you were going back and forth. Yeah. In the matter of DRB 2016-34 McCluskey Financial Group, I'm, I I mo make a motion that we approve the sign as submitted, but that you have to secure the the little panel that hangs below. Executive suites can't swing. Okay. Here a second. I second. Okay. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. And thanks for Thank coming you. back again. Next is DRB 2016-35, the application of Academy of Notre Dame at 560 Sprawl Road in Villanova. Two ground signs, two wall signs, and three freestanding signs. Hello there. Hi. Hi Good there. evening. Randy Schultz with the Academy of Notre Dame. I'm the Director of Finance and Operations. Great. Uh, so I, I, you have a full packet, uh, mm -hmm. but I put up two probably the, the most important uh, uh, sheets that are in your packet, mm -hmm. and that is what do the signs look like and where will they be located? Right. So you can see we have uh, a directional sign that will be located down here. This is Scroll Road. Mm -hmm. All right. So down where there's what we now have, it was an old original entrance mm -hmm. uh, to the property. It's now an emergency entrance. The gates are closed. Uh, they can be opened. Uh, but we don't want people pulling in there. Right. So mm -hmm. we have a directional sign saying main entrance straight gotcha. ahead. Then we have at the main entrance a sign uh, th that will be on a stone base. And that's the second one here. Um, and then there's a new entrance that when we did the fields uh, over the last two years. He's here. Yeah, I'm fine. Okay. I think I'm okay. Uh, when we did the field project, uh, the township required us to put a new entrance here off of Godfrey Road. Mm -hmm. All right. So uh, I'm not sure why it's not drawn on there, but there are, there are uh, two pillars that are being constructed there, and they will have signs embedded. Whoa. <laughs> within <laughs> within the, the stone columns, it'll be recessed in there. Mm -hmm. And then along Sproul Road, we have proposed... Uh, three banners and uh, they will say the banners that we have ordered actually are uh, Notre Dame welcome and open house those are the banners that we're, we're proposing to put up but they're in three locations and you can see them on on the map now when are they up since it says open house it's not uh, open house will only be up during okay. open house it'll probably either be welcome Mm -hmm. which would probably be for any event uh -huh. or just an Dame. Right. Okay. I saw these banners. Why they're in here. Yeah, right? but there will yeah, be they're in. What page? But there will be a banner hanging. 1.06. But something will be hanging from these posts throughout the year, right? It's probably. Not, it's just not going to be held. You're just not going to have a post up there um, without anything hanging from I, it, right? We haven't determined that. There could be times when there's nothing there. but. I would, I would think during off-peak, let's talk about now, right. we might just have Notre Dame, mm -hmm. the, 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 mm -hmm. this one. Right. So how high is that? Let me see. 
Um, it's under 15. Okay. Yeah. Thir under 15. It's 13 under. feet. Yeah. <clears throat> yeah. On uh, 2.04, uh, that's where the detail of the banner is. It's 13 okay, feet high. It. <laughs> well, it took me a long time to find. All right. Yeah. Okay. Do we have I, I think for this okay, application, it's you know mm -hmm. an institution like that. Yeah, um, and it's off the beaten track. Right. right. Mm -hmm. Okay, good. To so that to be a certain material. Well, you, you'll use uh, uh, like the ones we have in town. They're almost like a heavy vinyl. Okay. Sometimes they'll use this umbrella, but yeah. yeah. Who do you guys use for your banners? You know. Uh, we've contracted with a company called AGS. Okay. Mm -hmm. And uh, they're doing, they'll be constructing the, okay. the signs and banners for us. Yeah, we use it now for, for the Wayne Business Association up now in town. We've used for a while. They've been very good. Okay. So, yeah. okay, good. All right, so we sh should probably look at these mm -hmm. signs just kind of one by <clears throat> yeah. one. So, uh, how about if we just take a quick look at that directional pylon sign? Mm -hmm. we'll, or we'll call it a ground sign. Mm -hmm. uh, you're allowed to. And they're approximately yeah. 18 feet. And, and that's just to keep people moving. Yeah, keep right. In the right place. Ex exactly. So, okay, good. That's and good. I like that. I don't yeah. have any question about that. No. And then your main ground sign. Yeah, obviously we'd like entrance. to have one on either side of the entrance, but I don't think that's allowed. No, yeah, unfortunately so it's have, not. We have, yeah. We've just proposed the one. Right. Yeah. Okay. That's going to be right by, right on the corner of Godfrey, right? It's near the corner of Godfrey. It's on the right-hand side of the entrance. Could you point that out again? Sure. So here's, here's our entrance. Mm -hmm. Here's Godfrey. Oh, okay, yes. Okay. And the sign is here. Okay. So really people coming uh, south to north on 320 or mm -hmm. Sproul Road yeah. will we'll see that sign. Yes. I'm sorry, and that is the main, is that the main entrance now? Or that this, will is be? The main, this is the main, main entrance. entrance. Okay. Right. Mm -hmm. This is a secondary entrance off of Godfrey yep. Road. Okay. Do you think there'll be any issues at all with sight lines with no. that? No. No. Okay. All right. We just don't want to cause. We're, no, we're good. Okay. We've, 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 have a, we've vetted light. all this. Yeah. yeah. You also have a light right there. I know. But mm -hmm. I drive down that road all okay. every day. Mm -hmm. Okay. Good. All right. So you're allowed uh, 75 square feet and you're approximately 40 square feet. So you're, you're well within the uh, 10 foot height. You're okay there. So. <clears throat> all right. Good. And then on the uh, stone walls. The signs on the stone, stone wall. The, there'll the be our stone that is the same stone that's used for the columns. So okay. it's going to match mm -hmm. with the Hicken stone. Okay. Okay. And I'm sorry, is, are those monuments still they up? Are they currently up right now? Uh, the ones off of Godfrey? Yeah. No, they are not. Oh, they haven't been built. They haven't been for built. For some reason, yet. I thought they were existed on the site. Okay. No, the, 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 that's a new entrance that the township required right. of us. Right. Yeah. So we're, we're in the process, we're getting ready to build those. Mm -hmm. uh, we haven't built them yet. Okay. And they're going to be basically just on both bookending this, the uh, yeah, It's going to yes. look exactly the same as the main entrance. Mm -hmm. Okay. Good. All right. Mm -hmm. Main entrance has actually four columns. This will have this. The, it'll, it's going to look identical, mm -hmm. although they won't be as high. And so we have, we have actually columns here, here. Mm -hmm. They'll now be here. And there's also an exit down here, which is not on the map that has columns. So they're all going to look the same. Do all the columns have the text on them? They all have the. No, oh, none of them only do. Only these have. Only these. Only the two at the athletic Only entrance. the two here will have okay, that. Good. Right. Okay, good. And what will the material look like for the sign itself? Will it be a shiny type of material or will it be a. It, it's. Um, there's detail in here. I don't know what exactly what it is. Might tell us. See if I can yeah. find it. I should have got a real good sign package here. It's on, it's, but it's in such fine tight <laughs> that um, maybe it's on the big, is there a big tank? Big, I think no, it's a... Uh, here it is, but... I got it. It's on 2.03. Oh. I know, but you have to be able to... Oh, 2.03? Okay. If you have that, it's if you have print. the whole... Panel. Yeah. Uh, thick fabricated aluminum pan welded together. All welds to be ground smooth. Okay, it's aluminum. Yeah, fabricated aluminum mm -hmm. welded together. Yep. That's correct. This, they'll look very nice. Oh, it's going to yeah. look yeah. great. Yeah, they'll look great. All the signage looks good. Yeah, we actually we put mock-ups out there just mm -hmm. to see. Right. That's smart. Yeah. And yeah. to see about the visibility for yourself. Uh, absolutely. Yeah. We put a, okay. We've put a lot of time into this. Right. And I'm sorry that our, our design person was, was here last month, mm -hmm. but she couldn't be here this month, Okay. unfortunately. And, and Notre Dame is... 
ages, I know it goes through high school, but is it, what, you, when, what age does it start? Uh, sixth grade through 12th grade. Sixth through 12th, just in case anybody's wondering. Yeah, okay. <laughs> If anybody wants to apply. For girls. <laughs> <laughs> We're accepting applications. Right, there you go. Oh, you've done a beautiful job. I mean, yeah, looks, the changes always, of schools, really man, good, it's just yeah. wonderful. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Henry, We're thanks. good with the banners. With, with yes, I'm good with the banners. Okay. I think the banners look good. Yeah. With the, with the, uh, the poles, I'm sorry, where, how many and where are they going to go? Three, up 13 feet tall, and they're on the map. One, two, two three. three. Because there's trees on that fence line, right? Trees are set back. They're set back? So yeah, they're, they're not on the fence line itself. Okay. We put it in all, because we, uh, if you recall, this is all new. Mm -hmm. Yep. Uh, all new two years ago. Yeah. We were required to put in trees. There are a couple on the fence line, older trees, but these are not going to be, they're not being placed where those trees yeah. are, obviously. Okay. I like everything. I do. I think it looks I good. Think I think it looks yeah. It looks great. My, Thank you. My, my only concern is that with 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 a pole, I would love to have you guys have something up there all the time. I'm not sure if it was a requirement by uh, the well, township, I, I, but I yeah, think we will. Rather than having just a blank open yeah. pole, no, I, which I, I, think, I, I think we'll. Like I said, I think, and we haven't discussed this really. Yeah, but oh, it's good for I, the brand. I think, I think this one that I'm pointing to is probably going to be the one that's up there the most that just mm -hmm. says Notre Dame. Right. Welcome, obviously, is going to be whenever we have an event. Sure. Mm -hmm. yep. And then the open house. Mm -hmm. yeah. So you could have three of the Notre Dame, Notre Dame. You could have three poles that all have the same banner on. Oh, they will. Okay, good. All right. Yeah. And then when you have and an event. Whenever we welcome, make a change, it. okay. it's going to have the same banner. Got it. Okay. Yeah. And how many feet will it be set back from uh, Sproul Road offhand? I don't have the answer to that, but I know it's on the other side of the fence. Okay. Okay. All right. We are on the other side of the, wherever the fence is, we're on the other side. We're on our property. <laughs> okay. <laughs> on, the, on the school side of the fence. Right. Okay. This, this is going to look great. It's going to look good, yeah. Yeah, I, like I, th it. I think you'll like it when you see it. Yep. Mm -hmm. I, yeah, I think I have a slip here. Okay, good. All right, any other questions for the board? You're okay? Yeah. I'm good. Okay. Good. You guys all right? Yep, Comments? I'm good. You're good? Yep. Okay, David, yeah. want to take In the matter of DRB 2016-35, okay. Academy of Notre, Notre Dame de Namur, um, submission for uh, a sign approval, both monument, pole, and uh, pylon sign. I submit their approval for recommendation. Okay, Second. So, okay. All in favor? Aye. 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 Thank, Thank you, you very much. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, so we're in, oh, we're already in, yeah, in the next month. Okay, next is DRB 2016-36, the application of Villi, Village Associates Incorporated, the barn at 503 West Lancaster Avenue in Wayne for addition and facade change. Hey, Hi, Jeff. Hi, I'm uh, Jeff Martin from JTA Associates Architects right here in Wayne. Yep. And we're proposing a, an expansion to the barn. Now, the property for you. this is the entire village. This property is the existing barn, this building right here. Mm -hmm. This building is where the village salon used to be, mm -hmm. and there's a green space between them. We're proposing to connect these two buildings with a greenhouse right there. Mm -hmm. The buildings currently That's the front of the smaller building that we're connecting. And it's currently a gray stucco, one-story building. We call it the battleship, because it used to be gray. And then this picture shows the barn and the building we're connecting to. So those are the existing conditions. The front of the battleship is going to get a renovation. We don't like the all the roof lines going the same direction. We want to punctuate that. And part of the purpose of this is we want to bring some of the energy of the barn, whose entrance faces the back of the property. Yeah. And we want to bring some of that entrance to the center of the property. Mm -hmm. That parking lot we call the cul-de-sac. Mm -hmm. And the retailers in the cul-de-sac feel left out. 
Gotcha. So we thought if we can create another entrance to that business and create that entrance on the cul-de-sac side, it would bring some of that energy down into the village. Yeah. Also with what's happened at Valley Forge Flowers and the barn in the front of Silver Spoon, those buildings have had renovations that include some stone and bring some character to those buildings that the other side of the village doesn't have yet. Mm -hmm. So we wanted to renovate the front of this building to bring some of that character over. So that's why we're bringing a gable to that front and bringing some stone. And then we're going to get rid of the stucco and put, give it the shingle style okay. look. And we're going to use the fiber cement hardy plank shingles around the remainder of that building. And then the look of the connection from the barn to that building will be the glass greenhouse link. The other reason for doing the shingles on the building, on the new building, is we didn't want the barn wood siding on one side of the link and then a foreign stucco feeling on the other. We wanted to bring that wood feeling to both sides of the link yep. to kind of unify the feeling. Mm. The materials are going to be stone that match the stone on Valley Forge flowers mm -hmm. and the hardy plank fiber cement shingle style siding. It's kind of neat. Yes. It looks good. It's, yeah. it's a real improvement on this. I, I go over there a lot. I've had family members who have worked for the barn or for Little House okay, So you know the business. I know. Well. Yeah, I know it pretty well. Um, I mean, I don't know, no one in my immediate family, but I, you know, that you're right. That part just, it needs it's to left be, out. Yeah. yeah. And also the barn is a little hard to access. I mean, it doesn't, that the entrance is, the, the silo is cool, but it's a shame. It's you don't, it doesn't it's draw you in. Right. So this will be an entrance to the barn as well. It will. And this that, will be a retail be space, I assume? Yes. What's going to happen, the barn has a little gelato cafe. Don't I know it. And yeah, <laughs> We're going to make it more easily accessible. That's mm -hmm. going to move into where the salon was. Oh, good. And then the, the part that now has the new gable, I think she's going to sell antiques in there. Because she's now, her, her business is sort of more from just flowers to entire mm -hmm. vignettes. Yeah, it has. Hmm. And I'm sorry, I, have, I, have, I should go up there. So the entire barn is just used for flower, uh, you know, Valley Forge flowers? Oh, It's a done. lot, uh, very similar product to what's at Valley Forge flowers. A lot of, not just flowers and plants, but um, just home decoration oh, yeah. type thing. Furniture, yeah. artwork. Occasionally oh, really? yeah. be, there will be different artists represented there, potters, um, ceramic artists, painters, which, depending upon unique products, somebody's though. coming through. She tries to yeah. have, and then there's a whole kind of gourmet section of foods. Yeah. Oh, really? Yeah. And then there's the gelato. Just saying. Yeah. <laughs> I know there's a reason why to be a member of this committee. Get to learn yeah. about these stores that I don't one know about. More, one more gelato. Um, yeah. And so she'll be using that greenhouse space and continue to use the greenhouse space at Valley. At, um, yes, this too. greenhouse space will be a little different. The, the conservatory at Valley Forge Flowers, she has packed full of plants. And yep. It's actually hard to walk around in there. This is really to act as a link between the two. Yes, she'll have some flowers in there. And, okay. and we're even going to provide some hooks in the greenhouse ceiling to hang potted plants. Mm -hmm. um, mm -hmm. But uh, it's not going to be a working greenhouse, you know, where you'd have the, the dirt floor and the spray comes on to yeah. water the plants. It's right. more like a conservatory. Yeah. Well, I think it's a nice addition and improvement, and the landscape plan is, um, you know, you've just enhanced what's already there. I assume this is obviously a rendering, but you're going to do some of this, too. Well, yeah, you know how she takes pride in her landscaping yep. up there, so we will continue mm -hmm. with that on there. And then this also creates a little, another outdoor courtyard space between the two buildings. Mm -hmm. uh, Jeff, things like signage and all, you're going to come back for it, correct? Yes, this does not include the signage. Right, you're just okay. looking yeah. for the, building the addition. The flowers sign people will come back for right. that. Because okay. at this point, we don't know. Mm -hmm. uh, she's, I think she's going to call it the cottage. Okay. But we don't know what she's going to do for her signage gotcha. on that. Gotcha, okay. Mm -hmm. Is there opportunity for outside dining in this location now or not? No. Okay. No. Um, I think she would love to get that, mm -hmm. but uh, the location of the cafe and the location of the exterior spaces, I don't think lend themselves really well to that. Okay. Um, if she wants to, that that will be something she'll have to address. Sure. At mm -hmm. a later date. Right. Okay. Is there? You should ask Ray if there's anything we should be asking. 
Okay. Right. It's, okay. <laughs> Sometimes we get through this and you go, did you think of... <laughs> I think it looks great. I like the materials. I think they complement one another. I think it, yeah. it, it, it unifies well with the barn. And we didn't want to just create another barn. No. So, yeah. so the cottage idea sounds good. Yep. Well, thank you. Jeff, is there anything we need to know about exterior lighting on the building? Well, really, exterior lighting isn't changing because all the village lighting is these old Victorian light poles. Okay. There is going to be an awning light. You know, we've got these deep overhangs on the front of the building, mm -hmm. and those have recessed lights within those to light the sidewalks. Okay. The new portion, the new gable front, there will be an awning light below the awning, mm -hmm. and then there are going to be three goosenecks to illuminate the sign. Okay. Uh, and that will come in probably for the sign and they'll application? they'll come in for the sign application. Okay, yeah. good. All right. And uh, I guess you're going to have to build some new sidewalks and stuff like that? or The sidewalks were actually replaced probably about four years ago. We, okay. That building did not have handicapped accessibility to it. Mm -hmm. And the clientele of the uh, salon really needed that. Okay. Mm -hmm. So about five years ago, they took out all the sidewalks and put in to meet the ADA right, code great. to get into that. So we're in good shape with that. Mm -hmm. And I guess this is the last photograph of the packet. There is a light post in the corner. Will it, will it be there? Will it that be will be in? staying. I'm sorry? Yeah, that light post, will, we're <coughs> well, not taking out any of the light posts. Yeah, it'll still remain? Okay. Yes. All right. But there won't be any uh, further installations of any other ones? No. That. Okay. All right, this looks great. I think mm -hmm. it did it. It's going to look wonderful. Uh, I guess the landscaping plan will come back with uh, the signs? Um, yeah, she hasn't even looked into that yet. That will kind of be the next phase okay. on that. Mm -hmm. So signs will come back, landscaping mm -hmm. will signs come back. Signs and landscaping. Okay. Yeah. And she'll show us the goosenecks and stuff yeah. like that. Okay. No, landscaping is going to happen in the same locations mm -hmm. where it has been. There won't be any additional beds okay. or any beds turning into pavement. Mm -hmm. It will just be the same planting beds. Okay. You know, Good. Bringing back more of the same materials mm -hmm. she's been using. All right. Good. Yeah, it looks looks great. When's uh, construction start? Any day now. Oh wow. Yeah. yeah okay. We're we're ready to start. Oh wow. Good. Oh good. That'd be great. Great. Oh, when do you expect to be open? That's uh, the the debate right now. With con if construction happens, you know, toward the end of the summer, we could be open before Christmas. Mm -hmm. But Barb saying, well, if I can't be open by the end of October, early November, I don't need to be open until April. Yes, you know, so, she has other things. Um, but you know, given the amount of square footage she has, we don't feel the pressure to push this and finish. Mm -hmm. That's a little more square footage for her. Yeah. When we did the first building, she was operating in 2,000 square feet. Yeah. That 8,000 square feet made a big difference. Yep. She needed to get open. With this, yeah. it's a lot more relaxed. It happens when it happens. That's great. Yeah. Okay. She's got that other thing going in Florida too, so. Yeah. yeah, I've had to make a few trips there. Mm. Good. Jeff, any other questions for us? Or you're okay? No, no, appreciate okay. your, your feedback and Great. time. Okay. Thank you. In the, is it me? Go ahead. Okay. In the matter of DRB 2016 36, Village Associates Inc., the barn for the expansion to include the cottage, I move that we accept the design as presented, which includes um, glass corridor or greenhouse, um, raising the roof cladding the building with stone and hard plank siding, and the, I guess that's, that includes the, um, the cedar, that's the, the shingles. Is yes. that the hard plank siding? Okay. Yeah, the, yeah, it's a yes. shingle look, but it's actually yeah. a, a composite concrete fiberglass. Nice. Well, that's my motion. Okay. You might just make, uh, mention to come back for some. Oh, it? yes. You know, you'll, this is come not approved first. signage or any land, exactly. or landscape plan. Right. Okay. Yeah, we'll see you again. Yeah, we prefer they come back for their signage. Yes, okay. that's a good idea. Good. We're a second. I second. Okay. All in favor? Aye. Okay. Great. Thank you Thanks. very much. Thanks, Jeff. Thank Good you. to see you. Good to see you. All righty. Next tonight is DRB 2016-37, the application of Kitchen and Bath Square at 354 West Lancaster Avenue in Wayne for a wall sign. Brian. Hi, Bob. How are you? Good. How are you doing? Hi. How are you? Hi. How are you? Okay. Uh, Sal, Sal cannot join us. Uh, he's out of the country. He's in Italy. Okay. But uh, he wanted me to represent him. Great. Uh, this is uh, Kitchen and Bath. So real, real simple. Um, 
They are dimensional letters. Uh, they are made out of acrylic. They're three eighths of an inch thick. Uh, they have a two part poly paint on them. Uh, the backs are drilled and threaded for stainless steel studs. Uh, it is going into uh, this brand new plywood backer that has been, uh, uh, they, they've repaired it. Mm -hmm. uh, they repaired some sections of it and, and uh, primed it and painted it. Uh, so uh, uh, the stripes on the end are just decorative. Right. Mm -hmm. They're just painted, Brian? Just a, just a painted stripe? Yes, correct. Okay. Do you know if they're going to paint that whole building or not? They've they, uh, I believe they are. Okay. Yeah. All right. Kind of looks a little, little he, gray he, in the tan. Yeah, it sounds out of the country, so. Okay. All right. But will, will this will be, with what I'm looking at in, in the uh, rendering, will this be the colors at, at the end of the day? Yes, correct. For, forgive me, where, I'm trying to picture this. Where, where is this um, located? It is right next to Sign Studios, <laughs> uh, right across, you know where uh, uh, Seafood USA is? Okay. Uh, Seafood USA, the beer store, us, and then. So if you're so uh, if you're going driving west, it's on the left hand side. It's on the left hand the, side, okay, right, uh, okay. and then Stratford Shopping Center is yep. on the right hand side. <laughs> okay. What is that background? What's the background behind? I I, you, I know you said it's all been refinished everything, but what it's, is it? It's uh, three quarter inch plywood. Okay, and it's been painted. The, yeah, it, it's been it's been uh, primed, painted, and sealed. Okay, is it as bright as this? Oh yeah, it? it's, okay. it's, it is. No, it looks nice. Yeah. It's a yeah. nice gray yeah. and white Good. combination. I think. I like that. And the jumps. letters are. Yeah. I think it said how. Fifteen inch. Yeah, that's appropriate. Yeah. Yeah. At the time of this picture, uh, the top part wasn't painted yet. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so yeah. forgive right. me. I mean, this was filed a while ago. Yeah, this is good. Um, hey Brian, you have a total square footage on that sign now? Uh, I, I'm no. I know I'm within the requirements. Okay. So, All right. Because you have a lot uh, of front. The letters inch, are only so fifteen yeah. inches. High. Yeah, you're allowed. You're allowed. Uh, but the linear front, it, it's 457 exactly. and a half. Yeah, there. OK. I was just kind of curious, but I, I know you're within your rights there. Brian, how about lighting? Um, I am not responsible for the lighting mm -hmm. for this project. Uh, I know he has his own electrician, and I'm sure that'll be secondary. You, you think he will light it? You're not sure? I'm not sure. I just know that it wasn't a part of this package, nor right. was it even discussed right the lighting's already on there okay mm -hmm. all right thanks yeah well they need to come back for approval no you're fine right you might need to come back okay okay all right good all right and uh the address number should be placed on the building hopefully it's already on there if not we'll just make sure that it is okay okay all right good any That's other straight signs straight any other additions parking signs anything like that that you know not of, at Brian? This time. no and height from grade, from we've had. Well, we're we've good. already had signs there. Yeah, so I know it's yeah, we're fine. Range. Yeah, mm -hmm. it's definitely not over 15 feet. No, it's 11. No, it's a little over 11 foot. Right. Uh, from I'm getting grade. good at eyeing what 15 feet is now. Yeah, it's no more than <laughs> yeah. 11 foot yeah. high. But there, there won't be any additional. I'm sorry. The address will be on here. Yes. Yeah, it need, needs but to be somewhere. But not in that sec. Not in that part of the sign. Mm -hmm. It'll okay. be down, like on a door. It'll probably be on the glass. Yeah. Okay. okay. Good. Or like the telephone number. Okay. And. Uh, since the applicant's not here, we'll just mention it to you about the 20% rule of window space. Yes. So you're, you're his neighbor, so you keep an eye on him. Yeah, I, I already <laughs> communicated that to Sal and his partner. Okay. What is, is it a new business, or are they moving from another location? Uh, it's a new business. And I guess it kind of says it all, kitchen and bath square. Well, are they yes, remodelers? They, of a little bit of everything. They have their own contractors, and what, they're, what they do is they do uh, kitchen and bath design from the ground up. Uh, and they're going to have like a little showroom inside where people get get ideas. Mm -hmm. But at the same token, they're designing and they're inst uh, they're designing, uh, providing, and installing mm -hmm. all of the. So they're design build good. Yes. Right. Everything under one. one and shot. are they planning to be open in sometime soon? Um, I am hoping. Mm -hmm. uh, I know uh, he wanted to be open uh, by September the first. Oh, okay. So. Um, um, I think a soft opening was scheduled around August the 15th. Nice. Good. Okay. I like it. All right. Any other questions? You're good with us, Brian? Okay. No, it's pretty pretty simple. It science. is. Yeah, thanks. All right. Ready? Okay. In the matter of DRB 2016-37, I propose the application, or I propose that we accept the application to approve the wall sign for Kitchen and Bath Square located at 354 West Lancaster Avenue. Okay. For a second. Second. Okay. All in favor? Aye. Okay. Thanks, Brian. Thank you. Appreciate it. Have a good night. Good night, Brian.
Next is DRB 2016-38, the application of Susi Nami, Sushi. Sushi. Nami at 369C West Lancaster Avenue in Wayne for a wall sign. And the applicant is not here, I guess. All right, so we'll jump over him and we'll go to the next one, which is DRB 2016-39, Liberty Gas Station at 807 East Lancaster Avenue in Villanova, zone C1 for a freestanding sign. Hi there. Good evening. How you My doing? name is Ron Corento. I'm with Aerial Signs and Awnings. Okay, good to have you here, Ron. All right, so this is the Shell Station at 320 yes. and Route yep. 30. Yep. yep, soon to become a Liberty. Yeah, I saw the, I saw that you took, uh, you took the crispy, cris the chicken crispy, came down. Chicken. Well, yes. did it go crispy, on the crunchy chicken. Just for the down. record, we did not put that sign up. Ray, want to Ray my actually wants it for his office, he said. Yeah. But right. that is gone. You want it that sign for your office. Yeah. 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 And the crispy chicken. Right. And yes. the crispy chicken to go along with it. Okay. All right. So why don't you walk us through and tell us what you have in mind. What he wants to do is he, basically the, the brand now is Liberty Gas. Mm -hmm. um, so he wants to refit the existing sign, new faces. He wants to put the LED price signs in. Uh, basically the cabinets remaining. We're not doing anything to the structure. And according to the ordinance that we found, uh, you're allowed 50 square feet because they allow an additional 20 square feet for the pricer. Right. Which mm -hmm. the sign is basically, uh, it's five by eight. So we're within the square footage. Mm -hmm. The height's allowed to be 10 foot. Um, I put a note on the drawing here because they, they uh, forgot to put it on there. It's 16 inches mm -hmm. from grade to the actual bottom of the sign. And then once you add the eight foot sign, it still keeps us under the 10 foot. Right, mm -hmm. okay, good. Yeah, they're, uh, I guess, in like the Sunoco stations and all, they're yeah. starting to go digital. So I guess right. that's, mm -hmm. that's what we're Do faced we have with. That? Is, it, is there digital on Lancaster Avenue in Randall? Yeah, there is. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Where, who else has it? Uh, oh, Aberdeen Sunoco, I think, has I, it. Yeah, I believe that's the station that has it. Yeah. Maybe both sides mm -hmm. of the street. I don't think yeah. BP does. The Sunoco on both sides? Uh, well, it doesn't matter. Uh, that's the way they're going. That's yeah, the way they're going. That's definitely, definitely, yeah, the whole gas yeah. station industry, we do a lot of work in the oil industry. Everybody's mm -hmm. converting to LEDs. Right. Mm -hmm. And a lot of the town's regulations call out no LED signs, but I think that regulation was put in for message signs because they mm -hmm. don't want to flash. Right, yes. exactly. Yeah, these Whereas don't flash. They stay constant. They stay constant. Unless when the price of gas, price change, which changes constantly. Yes, and that happens so quick that yeah. it's not yep. a distraction to the traffic. Mm -hmm. Is this, what about the other Liberty stations? I know you have one down and was it, there's one Devon, mm -hmm. right? Do they have the same signage with the, with the LED? No, theirs has the old the placards old sign. okay. type signs, yeah. Mm -hmm. I'm mm -hmm. sure when he comes up for renewal, I think it's a 10 year contract they work right. on, so I'm sure when his renewal comes up, he'll probably look to go LEDs. Mm -hmm. sure. And how, how bright is, is the lettering or the numbers on the LED? Well, they actually have a dimming function, so at nighttime they actually tone down so they're not like glaringly bright like they are during the day. Okay. There's a built-in photo cell in them that cuts them down so that way it doesn't cause any oh, extreme good. glare. And, when you, and when I'm sure if you've driven down 30, you probably didn't even notice there's LED price <laughs> signs at the Sunoco, but <laughs> no, it didn't they're, jump not, they're, not, they're not awful bright. They right. actually have little reflectors on the top of them that kind of keep the light from like totally glaring okay, good. as well. So I think this fits our gas station code. Yeah. And, and I mean, and LED is new, but. Right. And you're keeping a brick yeah. monument, mm -hmm. which is yeah. important. That's kind of mm -hmm. the, uh, mm -hmm. what we've done up and down the yeah. main line there. So, uh, it, I mean, the letters are technically probably a little large, but. They you mean need to the be, numbers? The numbers, I'm sorry. Yeah, but I think that. It, it must need it. Uh, yeah. yeah. I, I think, yeah. That there's, it. Yeah. Okay, good. And the, Liberty's the appropriate size. Right. And the background will be black mm -hmm. up against the red lettering, correct? Yeah. So what so is this black jumps. box up here? This that is was just, the old that was, chicken That was the chicken sign. thing. Yeah. It just didn't. Okay, I thought, <laughs> right. something going just colored there? it in to show that it's gone. So there's nothing there. <laughs> it's gone. Yeah, okay, good. And yes. So when you guys take over the Liberty, will you actually remove the, the chicken signs on the that are, that are currently up there right now on the uh, on the wall? Uh, to be honest, which I didn't realize there's even signs on the wall. Yeah, there's still there. Yeah, they're still there. Yeah, they're, they're still there. But we approved those. They were allowed to put yeah, those. Yeah, we did. We approved those. Yeah. Yes. Okay. Yeah. Will you be serving chicken? <laughs> Probably. Come on. Yeah. 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 They you went through all that effort. Yeah. 
Yeah. I'll be at the barn having gelato. <laughs> Call me. Yeah, yeah. fried chicken. Yeah. And then there was there was one more item. I'm not sure yeah. if they um, brought it to your attention. The canopy. Yeah. Which is oh, right. I saw this Thank on you. your yeah. application. Ugly yellow and mm -hmm. red stripe, which right. is mostly peeling. Mm -hmm. uh, we're going to reface it with an 063 aluminum skin that's going to be decorated. Right. The normal Liberty canopies have the, the flag version like underneath the sign, mm -hmm. but we figured for, for this town, I'm sure you don't want to see that up there. Yeah. So we Where is this canopy? The gas station canopy is over top of the Oh, oh yeah. okay. So, yeah, they're going to go to this, the two stripe with, okay. Yes. No, it'll I'm, be, it'll be yeah. a blue metal with a white stripe right. on it. And there'll be no graphics. No other graphics. Okay. Can't, you can't have yeah, any no, that, That's good. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And that, that, that kind of fits into the Liberty format. Okay, the good. color scheme. Mm -hmm. Well, that's nice of you to think ahead. Like, will they like this? Thank you. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. Just well, going back to the digital signs, sure. when, when the gas station closes, do the, do, will that shut down or will that always remain lit? He should be shutting it down. I mean, it would be, be kind of weird to post prices that, you know, to draw people in without the store being open. Okay. We can make sure that we mandate that to him that he has to turn it off when he closes the store. Mm -hmm. But some people leave their signs on for advertisement. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but then I get confused, so I don't know exactly. if I should go in there and get gas or not. Right. Yeah, so we can tell him that's part of the stipulation is he has to make sure he shuts it off when he closes. That's good. Which would make sense yeah. anyway. Yeah, if you're like me, you're driving on fumes, <laughs> and you get there, you're like. I'm surprised that's not a 24-7 station down near Villanova with I the know. market and everything, unless, yeah. it, unless it is. I don't know. Is it a 24-7 station? I do not know. The I don't know either. Yeah. I think yeah. it might not be. Okay. The, other, the current one isn't. No. It is not? No. no. And then this Looks one good. won't be because it's the same owner. Okay. He's just changing from Shell to Liberty. Mm -hmm. Got it. All right, good. Any other questions for us, or you're all right? Yeah, that's okay. it. Okay. Who's? Dave's turn. Dave's, Dave's turn. turn. Okay. Oh, um, within the matter of DRB 2016-39, submission of the application by Liberty Gas Station to the approve the monument sign and, the free, and uh, I guess the awning or the freestanding sign. I, uh, I submit and approve uh, the application. Okay. Is there a second? Second. Okay. All in favor? Aye. Okay. I'm, Ray, I'm sorry. Um, they did not apply for the awning sign or the canopy sign. Uh, I think they need to file another amended application if you're going to approve something. Mm -hmm. I find it just a little hard to believe they walked in here tonight and made the decision in the last five minutes. Uh, uh, it was in the... I think it's in the packet, right? It's in right? the packet, though. Yeah. And I guess there's... I mean, we had the awning... Yeah. Uh, gra the, you know... All right. Hold on, hold on one second. Okay. I okay. apologize. We're they put the info in, but they did not pay for or ask for okay. an awning revision or an awning okay. to be reviewed. Even though no advertising or anything? No, it just, it no, no, it just says updating uh, fuel and refacing pylon sign. Okay. Didn't say okay. anything about the canopy going okay. in there. So in all fairness to everybody, if somebody yep. wanted to contest that, at least we should have on record that it was brought up at the meeting, but then mm -hmm. the application was amended to okay. read. All right. Do you want to okay. Just yep. Yep. Okay. Can we? I, I I will restate. I submit uh, DRB 2016-39 for the approval of the freestanding sign. I sum, I approve or uh, submit uh, their application for approval. Okay. I'll we'll mention about the canopy. and with and they will go come back with the formal approval for the canopy. Okay. So you don't need to come back. No, they don't need to come back. Okay. They just need to amend the application uh, that they submitted. Okay. okay. That they amend, then I add yeah. that you'll amend the, the application for, for the county. Okay. Should have been applied right. for. And when you amend it, can you actually just clarify if the lights will be turned off at night when the when the gas station is closed? Yep. Okay, good. Just put that on application on the application and make it part of the uh, submittal. I second. Okay, good. Thanks, Dave. Thanks, Ray. Okay. Thank you. Okay, thank Ron. You. Thank, thank you. you. Appreciate it. You too. Next is DRB 2016-40, the application of Ascent Spa at 591 East Lancaster Avenue in St. David's for awnings. Joe. Good evening. How you doing? Good. Essence Spa is going in next to uh, J. Michael 
salon and spa. Right. Look, I think Cindy probably knows you, but I'm not too sure Dave knows who you are. Oh. Oh, uh, Joe Birch. I work for SW Vegas Limited. Oh. Um, this is the property of the Ryder Hotel. Okay. Uh, on the corner of the 595 building. Yep. And Bernie Robbins used to be in here on the corner. They moved down the road. And we have Essence Spa going in next to J. Michael. The spa and the salon are actually sharing an entrance. So it's a common entrance that you go into, and then you kind of go one, one way or to the other mm. to the salon or mm. the spa side of it. So the thought here to kind of help call out that shared entrance is to put an awning that would actually go over the walkway. And our intention is to the right is J. Michael's existing awnings. They're a brown color. They are mm -hmm. staying. And the bottom valance to the new awning will be brown. The top, the curved part of the awning will be the- Turquoise? The, it's Sunbrella Pacific Blue is the name of the color. I'm calling it turquoise. It'll be that, it's probably not quite that little, blue, but close to it. Yeah. And then Essence Spa will redo the, the two Bernie Robbins awnings that are there in that Pacific Blue. So the shared awning will have both colors on it. The valance be one color, the top another color, but there'll be no graphics on that mm -hmm. one that sticks out there. Okay. And then she'll just recover the, the two Bernie Robbins oh, ones. A better color. How much did you get? No, I've been waiting to use that. I've been at every meeting. <laughs> he brings his valance. Finally got a chance to use this, you know? This? Yeah. They changed those colors. There it is. Whoop. They, they better not. Pacific blue, it says it right on there. Blue. Come All on. Right. Yeah. So Pacific blue on the drop. On, okay. on the top. On the top. And, and the, the balance will be the brown. That's okay, right? Yeah. Yeah. Sounds good. And then the Essence Spa will go on the new blue awnings to the left. Yeah, the graphics will be in white, but mm -hmm. you see her logo there. Mm -hmm. John, I think you know no lar larger than eight inch letters, Max. Yep. Okay. Where, where did you used to enter for J. Michael? It actually was just over to the next column. So Where I see edit. that handle? I see a door handle there. Yes, it was still there when that picture was taken. Huh. So that has been closed up and then they'll share that those double doors and you go one way or the other. Mm -hmm. Or you could be going to both places and then you just get one Full service day. done and yes. Got it. Okay, I think it'll look nice. I think it'll, yeah. it's, it's time to replace, it looks like it's time to replace the burning um, Robins. They're probably 11 years old. Yeah. Hmm. Yeah. How did Jay Michaels look? Better? They're newer, yes. Yeah. Okay. Okay, good. Whole Comments? Application? Just, again, yeah. again, Jay, just make sure the address numbers are on the buildings for each. Yes. Uh, okay. Mm -hmm. uh, not yeah. enough. They plan on doing a lot of window signage, but in plan business, you're only allowed up to 15% maximum of your window space. Yes. What you see there, those are down. They, they were up during construction. Right. Okay. What will the the, uh, the vertical post on the canopy look like? Will, will, it, will that be bronze? The post will actually be painted black, the same as the wrought iron fence there. Okay. That's kind of, I think it's nice yeah. for the clients. Yeah. Yeah, I do too. And it makes a more dramatic entrance, or at least one you can find. That's nice. And it gives Dresses you a little more up. protection. Yeah. Um, mm -hmm. You're coming out of the spa. Yes. Mm -hmm. You might not be able to relate to that. Or the hair salon. Yeah, the hair salon. Just dropped a hundred On a day like today. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, not a yeah. good day for the hair. Yeah. Um, so is that it? I, I think that's it. Any other Great. questions or comments for us, Joe? No. You're right. Okay. Dave, okay. you're right. Yep, I'm good. Okay, Cindy. I'm good. Sounds good. Oh, you mean like make a motion or do I like it? I Five. like it. I'm happy to make a motion. Terrific. Thank you. In the matter of DRB 2016 for Ascent Spas awnings. And the shared awning for J. Michael and Ascent Spa, the new canopy. I move that we accept the proposal as submitted. Um, I, I don't think there are any stipulations. It'll be brown. The canopy will be brown and Pacific blue. And Ascent's will be blue. And there, the lettering is on the drop should be no more than eight inches. Okay. Do I second? I second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Okay. Thank you. And next is DRB 2016-41, the application of Radnor Hotel Associates at 591 East Lancaster Avenue in St. David's for three ground signs. All right. Okay, Joe. We're at the same building. <laughs> um, at, in the top left-hand corner, you can see our existing signs. These were done through DRB. Uh, 
roughly 15 years ago. Mm -hmm. They were carved letters, and down below are the tenant panels. There's the, all the Radnor hotels are starting to, to delaminate, um, mm -hmm. so they would, and they couldn't be salvaged anymore. They've been repaired one time already, mm -hmm. and they had to be redone. So in looking at having them repaired, we came to the conclusion that we would rather go to an internally illuminated sign. Um, we try to do as much landscaping as we can, and we always seem to then cover up the bottom of the sign, mm -hmm. or we perpetually block the light that lights the sign. So rather than continue to fight that and put the investment in, we've chosen to go to an internally illuminated sign. Um, you can see it there, the top, the Radnor Hotel, it's the, the structure of the sign is the same dimensions. You'll see the only thing that we did is we kind of downsized the Radnor Hotel a little bit in order to get another line for the tenants. Mm -hmm. gotcha. In the past, we, we had two, mm -hmm. and then when we had to split them up to the three, which you see in the bottom, they, they, they got too small. Mm -hmm. they, they weren't yep. that effective. So what we're trying to do is get another line so each tenant has um, half of a panel there. At mm -hmm. night, the only thing that you will see that lights up is the Reiner Hotel. And with the tenants down below, the same thing. We'll allow them to have a color background to call it out a little bit, but that will be opaque. And at night, the only thing that will illuminate will be their lettering. What do you guys feel about the colored? I know we tried to get we tried to yeah. do on monument signs all one to have it all one color yeah. for the different tenants. I know it makes it hard for the tenant because they want you know they want that presence. They want you to be able to see. Oh, there's Wells Fargo. Um, have we been consistent? We've been pretty consistent. I mean, we have across the street the micro center center. Yeah, we got them you know, all, that's all the theirs. same. Uh, what about Reiner um, Financial? I think is pretty much all the same. But I think their logos themselves might be. In a color, but I think that what about where sign. Chipotle and um, what do they have on their ground, their sign? Oh, yeah. they're all that cream color. I think yeah. a black. And again, I think yeah. we may let them just if they want to do a logo, maybe in a color. Yeah. But, um, remember, uh, I know. Uh, which McComb was just five below. They're going to use their blue color, I guess. On the monument sign? No, uh, uh, background the no, same, no. just the lettering, I believe. Yeah. If I remember right. So. I don't know um, for them. Yeah. Um, yeah, that's. I know we. Yeah, been trying I, I to keep think it looks too busy. I'd like it not to not to have the different colors. Yeah, I know at nighttime it's all going to look the same, but during the day. During the, I would agree. Yeah. Aesthetically, I think it, I actually think it would look a lot nicer if you had the same color. And I know, I, I, unfortunately, I know that Wells Fargo. That's their. That's their. That's their thing. Mm -hmm. Well, they have it. On Aesthetically, it probably looks nicer, but it's not effective. Um, right. Agree. And then what runs into the problem even if you make this all black as we put a new one up one looks newer than the other and it, it believe it or not you can have six different colors of black that still looks like a checkerboard effect mm -hmm. depending on when each one is put up at that point mm -hmm. in time the where you're talking about chipotle they're mm -hmm. all cream one of them is not I, I don't have a picture of it I know, I'm trying they're to all shades of cream mm -hmm. but again they still look different because it's not all the same one yeah i think the intent that was to really try to match them up even the stratford shopping center mm -hmm. they're at, uh they all have the maroon color up there mm -hmm. the Under, underground sign which yeah. is relatively new i think uh either mccurry made that or uh denron well yeah. because the current sign already has it. it's all the same color anyway yeah we did we've yeah. had it for a while yeah and but actually, you're giving them a bump up in advertising because they're now an internally lit. So at night, people will be able yeah. to see them, and that'll jump out a little better. Yeah. Even if you did it, did them all, well, that wouldn't be maybe fair, but if you did them all in gray, so it looked separate from the Radnor Hotel, but I saw that there were different, there was something else going on there, like these aren't ads for the Radnor Hotel. I, I would prefer to see one color for all the tenants. Yeah, I think that's like the color of Glen Morgan. Yeah, kind I love the Glen. I think the Glen Morgan color. looks great if you did like that's kind of silver. Um, they each have different fonts, and that makes a difference too. Yeah, I just think it's too busy with all those colors. But I agree. Uh, that's just. Um, 
Joe, I mean, you, you guys have in, in a lot of your signs, don't you must have that silvery gray trim on your signs? You know, like the outline and stuff like that, the, the, the band going around the perimeter? Yeah. Only for the Radnor sign at the top. The ones mm -hmm. down below, they don't, they're, they're just black right to the edge. But that is kind of not, not really a white but uh, that's band, silver. more of a silver. Do kind I know where you're going? You well, kind of pick that up, That maybe. silver would be nice as the background for these. Um, for the ones down below. For the ones down below. So they're separate from the Radnor Hotel, but they, um, even though they'll fade and you'll, you know, if one tenant, like these tenants could stay there 15 years. <laughs> but what, what's across the street and, and what's over at Lincoln From Financial? From the Radnor Hotel? But, no, but I'm saying, what's the type, what is this, the monument signage at Lincoln Financial? They pretty much have all, like, kind it's of gray, gray, silvery background. Yeah. I think, I want to call it, it's frosted glass. Yeah, it is. almost clear yeah. glass. Yeah, it's a heck of a nice, um, yeah. So I would think, is like, I, I think it's just, if you're just driving down there aesthetically, yeah. as, a, as a resident of this township, mm -hmm. just to have the same sort of, like, color, color okay. scheme okay. as the uh, the other right buildings or the other properties. The property. Oh. Yeah. And I remember uh, yeah. the old Chilton property mm -hmm. too, which is yeah. brandy mm -hmm. wine. And I think they did the same thing yep. again. I think if somebody had a little logo, we let them mm -hmm. color the logo. But yeah. basically the background and everything was pretty much yeah. the same color. Right. Yeah. So, I mean, is that going to be a hardship for your tenants? No. no. Well, they currently have it right now with the yeah, existing exa they design. Do. Exactly. I don't know if you're They're problems in the sign. world or... Yeah. But if we then go to a consistent color, you'd be fine if there was a little bit of color in their logo on a common background. Well, I don't whoa, think whoa, anybody whoa. really has a logo as such. That, you know? Like, you know, something yeah. like, I, I don't know, I'm going to just pick someone like, even though this is not a good example because I can't remember, but Chipotle, they had a pepper or someone right. had a exactly. pepper. So we let them do the, maybe it was Taco Bell or someone, yeah. the, we let them the do the pepper, pepper in red. red. Yes. I, I, yes, um, I'm not saying. Right. So yeah, can I you slide it over a little bit? Oh, oh thanks. Um, you mean, so if you could put a spot of color to identify them as each different, but I don't know how you would do that. I, I didn't think Because none of them have a, a yeah. trademark. They're, I mean, maybe their name is trademark, but um, they don't have a little mark. I like Cindy's idea where maybe the bottom would be more in a the silver. silver that complements mm -hmm. the, the black on the top. And uh, it'll break the sign up a little yeah. bit. And sure. I think it'll let those guys And be there'll separate. be black between them, it looks like, because that's what you have right now. Each panel is separated by the black background, right? Yeah. Yes. So that'll separate them so it doesn't look like they run together. Correct. Okay, I'm voting for a silver or gray. Not that you're, you know, okay. opaque, bound by my course, vote. Like, opaque at night. Opaque at night, yeah. yeah. But Dave, That's how do you feel about that? Uh, that's, a, that's okay. I mean, I, I, like, I like your idea better than what it is right now. Yeah. Would my, you like my, black? I, I think it would be, I, I'm just, I'm try, forgive me, I'm trying to picture what Lincoln Financial is as well as what Micro Center and... Uh, well, Micro Center is that Center's dark like green, like a hunter green oh, with gold, yeah. gold lettering and okay, so those panels black, are okay. consistent. Yeah. Yeah, I just, you know, just aesthetically to be have some sort of yeah. consistency. Right. Mm -hmm. And if it is like a, like a yeah. you know, going with, with your recommendation, Cindy, you know, I think it's, it's yeah, fine. So first choice would be black. But second, to give them a little bit of space between Redder Hotel is, would be, I think, like the silver gray. D definitely not a color. Yeah. Um, yeah. Because, it, yeah. It's, it is inconsistent what we're trying to mm -hmm. do yeah. along Route 30. So I okay. really can't think anybody who's got all no, different I colors. I, I mean, no. you're, you're the old True Value Hardware property. I know the, uh, the girl in here, she does uh, chiropractic. She just right. put a panel up. It's kind of like a purple color. Right. But that's... It's a different sign. This is a, I think, a lot upscale location, and you know, sure. Um, mm -hmm. Yeah. As I, well as like the building next door to it on um, on uh, Randor Chester, where you have uh, all right Hobo. Yeah, and, exactly. Uh, yeah, I think yeah. They also Jimmy John's. Same, yep. Yeah, I think they also have the same type of a signage. Yep. Where right. It's still they do. All, silver with black. Oh, that, yeah, actually, we told them they had to do that. I right. That yeah. was, right. What's his name? You yeah. Know, yeah. So comes, just yeah. to be just that whole that whole quadrant right there just mm -hmm. to be kind of consistent. Sure. Okay. All right. You can live with that. Sure. Okay. All right. So we'll okay. give the applicant the option of black mm -hmm. or silvery gray. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. You all right with that, Joe? Yes. I guess you guys can mock it up and maybe see what looks better, but make sure that the township gets a copy, whatever you decide upon, just for the files. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. All right. And you're going to have three of those signs to do, right? Yes. Okay. There's three. One, the main corner of Ryanchester and Lancaster is a single-sided, mm -hmm. then kind of up 
Lancaster and then up Radnor Chester, they're both double sided signs. Mm -hmm. I think it's, it's going to look good. I, I think it'll it'll, look it'll really look classier than the, yeah. it'll It will look classier. Maybe your tenants might not feel that way, but it's more the Radnor, like the way you guys do things. It's very polished and finished, and yeah. Yeah. Um, the aesthetics are always strong, I think. So okay, it'll, good. it'll be better. We're okay. just asking you to live up to your image. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. And, uh, as long as you're under 75 square feet on these sides, which I believe you are, yes. you're okay there. And, and 10 foot from grade, no higher. So I think we're we're pretty good. You all right with that, Joe? Yes. Okay, good. Okay. Um, great. I guess that's pretty much it. Yeah. Well, you have the opportunity too if you get another tenant, right? To put six on there. It's yeah. six panels. Okay. Good. All right. I'm not sure who's next. I think Joe, he's Joe, any questions for the board? You're no. right. Okay, good. In the matter of DRB 2016-41, uh, application by submitted by the Radnor Hotel Associates for the approval of three ground signs, I, uh, I submit and approve um, their submission subject to the background coloring be either black and or silvery gray. I submit and ask for okay. approval. Great. Do a second? S second. Okay. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Okay. Thank you. Thanks, Jeff. Thank you. Appreciate it. All right, next is DRB 2016-42, the application of Main Point Books at 116 North Wayne Avenue in Wayne, zoned under the Wayne Business Overlay District for a wall sign. And I think we all know we just got a awesome. fresh copy. Yeah. Got changed, yeah. How you doing, Dave? Good, how are you? I'm Dave from Signs by Tomorrow. I'm representing uh, Main Point Books. Kathy is the owner. She currently uh, has a, a, a location in Bryn Mawr on Lancaster Avenue. She's moving to uh, 116 North Wayne Ave. This is the former uh, Founders Bookstore? No, Reader's, Reader's Forum. Forum. Reader's Forum, thank you. Um, and what we were originally gonna propose changed yesterday, so um, sorry to throw that curveball in there, but Kathy has an existing uh, ceramic mosaic at her current location, mm -hmm. and she would like to move it to the new location in Wayne. So it, it's, it says main point books, it's uh, ceramic tiles in a mosaic, it's gonna be framed. There's, always, there's already uh, gooseneck lamps there. Mm -hmm. um, and the oh size of this is, is about uh, 12 by 24. So it's about uh, 24 square feet, 12, uh, 12 feet wide. Don't you have two panels? Oh, you're only putting oh. one. You're, you're the owner? Yeah. yeah come, on, up. come on up. I'm sorry. I yeah. pulled the bait and switch, so I came to support. Yeah. I just no, but you should be able to tell us right. in the mic. I didn't think I was going to be able to get the mosaic down. And when they came to take it down yesterday, we got it down in one piece. I love it. It has, like, some, you know. Oh, I think this is so much prettier yeah. than what you presented. I, like I, I love it. I think it would be yeah. so, well, so nice. Well, what I presented was clear and had better marketing potential. But I know, like, but this, this looks very uh, one-off. Yeah. It, it, one it, only. I mean, the other, it's very nice but it just doesn't look like now what I think you might be. Right, well, it, and you know, I, I was thrilled. So um, I okay. was hoping that you guys would um, Okay, well, why don't you tell us who you are so and a little bit about the business. Be back. Okay. Um, I um, opened Main Point Books three years ago in Bryn Mawr. Um, nice and loud in the mic. Okay. People are home, <laughs> like millions of people are watching this show. <laughs> <laughs> We're a general interest bookstore. Um, it's been going very well, but um, Ida came to me and asked if I would be willing to move and you know Wayne is a really thriving commercial center so I was excited um, I think it's gonna be a perfect location for the bookstore great I'm gonna be doing a lot of programming um, events um, have more of a children's focus than I've had in Bryn Mawr because I was closer to a children's bookstore there um, I'm getting about 25 percent more square feet if things go well we'll redo the basement and move down there so um, it's all really exciting but great. I felt like this sign really sort of represents like that sort of classic feeling I've been going for. And um, so, are you gonna have seating in there so you can pull up a chair and yeah, look so at it's, things? Yeah, um, so it's divided into sections a little bit, so um, everybody should be able to find their like little corner. You know, the kids' area will be a little bit more. Um, I'm hoping actually to make it a little bit more play area, but at the moment it's got like a you know little tables and trains mm -hmm. and things so the kids can come play and. Pick out their own books. Um, 
trying to think of what else. I, so there's a section like, you know, we have nonfiction that's got a few like really cushy chairs in it and um, fiction will have like a table and, you know, like a way to look at different things. Um, so it's like sort of divided into sections. Well, when nice. do you expect to, when do you think Tuesday, you can? Tuesday, July 26th, I'm opening. Oh, awesome. <laughs> I gotta tell you, there's a lot of talk on the street. My office is almost across the street. Oh, so yeah. we're excited about a bookstore. You know, that uh, it was great to have a bookstore and it, it's just time. So it'll be, yeah. I think a town with a bookstore is, says something. Yeah. It's great. Particularly an independent bookstore. Yeah, an independent yeah. bookstore. I've read some good articles recently about the strength of independent bookstores. They're so definitely coming back. Welcome yeah. to Part Wayne. A, thank you. This is gonna look great. So it's yeah. going to be painted white behind it so that it matches the sign more, and it'll be framed out so that it, it fills the space better than it is, you know, the moment. Will you have a frame of a, contra a different color around the mosaic? It'll or be white it? also. Mm -hmm. So that black is going to be painted white? It's going to be white. OK. okay. How about the goosenecks? What are you going to do? White. With? White? OK. That's Keep good. the existing? Or? Yeah. OK, they're, just they're paint. They're light up. They work. They OK. Paint, mm -hmm. And they're good. centered firmly on the sign at the moment. I think it'll. OK, good. It's the main point books. Is, is that That's all mosaic as well, right? Yeah, the whole thing is the a whole mosaic. Thing is mosaic. Wow, yeah. that's that's beautiful. I think it's going to be great. For just just give it more mm -hmm. feel for like a village type of feel. It makes it yeah. more individual space, mm -hmm. which is what I've been trying for. Yeah, it's it looks good. Thank you, okay. Kathy. You probably heard uh, earlier tonight. Make sure your uh, address number is prominent. It. White vinyl lettering on the uh, Dave. The panel over the door. Oh, Sorry. We were going to do white let, uh, vinyl lettering over the panel over the door. Okay, so good. Know, like four inch letters. Yeah. Now talk about the windows. Twenty percent. Twenty percent. But if you, yeah. I know that you know bookstores always have good displays. But if you, you know, if you're inside the, you know, what you paste on the window, what you put right on the window, that's twenty percent. But you can always have a really dramatic display within a foot of the window or right. inside that you, so that people can really yeah. see. So yeah. Like oh, shelves. good. Right. Yeah, that'll be nice. Mm -hmm. through, okay. Um, the space is looking good. Thank you. And no sandwich boards outside or A-frame signs. They're so not allowed. I heard. So you heard. All right. <laughs> <laughs> I've been well informed. Okay. You see a lot of them around, but. Yeah. I, I've been using them in Brunmark. Okay. It's been very hard to get people's attention as they're driving down. The right. Mm -hmm. But okay. I think now you're going to exit the parking lot straight into my. Are you yeah, kidding? Beautiful. You're right at the crosswalk. Yeah. Good spot. Yeah. Perfect. Mm -hmm. Okay. okay. Um, what else? I guess that's that's about it. Mm -hmm. Hey, Dave, if if you can, when you get a chance, do you want to get some dimensions on that sign, yeah, yeah. letter height, uh, width, height, and yeah, present it to the township for the files? Okay. Great. All right. Um, who's oh. losing track of his turn? Oh, okay. I'll do it. I think it's fine. DRB 2016-42 Main Point Books at 116 North Wayne Avenue. I move that we accept the new um, sign, well, the new old sign as presented for uh, the bookstore. Okay. Any other questions for us? You guys all right? Okay. Do we have a second? I second. Okay. All in favor? Aye. Okay. Thank Great. You very much. Great. Thanks. Great. Lots of luck to you. Thank you. I was wondering, can you get outdoor seating here? It would be kind of cool if you had like a bookstore with outdoor seating. I think it would be awesome to have <laughs> I don't know. Well, I know. I love that idea. I was yeah, outdoor. I wonder if you could have outdoor. It would be kind of cool. I mean, I'm sorry. Oh, the last. Uh, oh yeah. Continue continue go there. Yeah. Yeah. We need to mention okay. the last applicant. Yeah. Oh I yeah. Like definitely. The idea. We'll, we'll okay. ask more. Okay. Next. Next on our agenda is DRB 2016-43, the application of Villanova Spa and Nails, 795 East Lancaster Avenue in Villanova for a wall sign. The applicant is not here, so their uh, application is denied. Correct. I'm sorry, right? Can, Can I, we continue that until next month? Oh, I'm sorry. Okay. The oh, application so will be denied. continued to next okay. month. I'm sorry. What about okay. Sushi Nami? Was that denied or was that I'll go back continued? and one last call for DRB 2016-38, Sushi Nami, 369C West Lancaster Avenue in Wayne for a wall sign. That application is... Continue. That application okay. will be continued to next month. Okay. Is it next month or is it September? Uh, it'll be um, August 10th. I'm away meeting. August 10th. I'm just saying. I I'm, I'm, a, I'm away as well. I'm away. We're in trouble. Wait. Yeah. No, no. I might be back. I, I should be back. Okay. We'll talk to yeah. Peggy about that, right? Yeah. You're definitely out there. I, I'm out the first two weeks of August. Okay. All right. So I'll have to make sure Elise is around. Okay. Okay. Yeah. We should check on that right you know, soon because that wedding is 
pretty soon. Her okay. daughter's. Yeah. And okay. it's not in this area. I don't okay. it's like there's no board meetings during the month of August. No, no, no. No, we're right on throw. Oh, yeah? um, right. Somebody didn't. Like, you know. Okay. Which one? Park Rec? No. Zoning. Okay. We're, we're here every month. Okay. Okay, any other business for our board tonight? Um, I do have one thing that I would like to see us make a change to the code. Okay. And I think um, I actually asked, I ran into one of the commissioners and asked him about this, that when applicants come, there's nothing in the code that says we have letter, letter height restriction or guidelines for that. Mm -hmm. so, um, so there's nothing that binds about what we, you know, the decisions that are made here when they go to commission, board of commissioners. Mm -hmm. So he said that this could be just a code change that could be made by the Board of Commissioners without it going through a huge process. I mean, it would be an, a transparent and open process, but if we were to send a memo to the Board of Commissioners or to one of them, they could codify these, the letter height, and we mm -hmm. would suggest, you know, in the downtown Wayne area, you know all the, we, we don't, we'd like not to go any higher than right. 14 inches. Right. In this, the resident plan, whatever, mm -hmm. you know, I should have my names down. Um, our maximum height is 25 mm -hmm. inches, you mm -hmm. know, off if you're not on Lancaster. So we could give those guidelines. Right. And that would at least be able to build that into the code. So, you know, these designers come yeah. and they think they've read the code and then we say, right. yeah, oh, right. yeah, you can have 50 square feet, but your sign, your letter height can't be, mm -hmm. you know, that tall. Yeah. And I think that's not fair to an applicant not to have it. No. And that also, you know, then we have no teeth to what we say. Mm -hmm. yeah. So what are your, can we do that? I, think I make a it. suggestion that you get your thoughts together, put something down in writing, right? Mm -hmm. Let us kind of talk about it, review it, go over it, maybe at the, after the next meeting or so. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And then if you want to present that, we can present that to the board and let them decide then how they have to do it, whether yeah. it's got to go through ordinance change or whether we have to go through legal and, mm -hmm. you know, mm -hmm. whatever it is. But I think the best way to do it is to gather your thoughts and right. okay. get get the things in writing. Yeah. And I think we can do it fairly easily. I mean, just two of us could say, here's what we've done in these um, areas of the township. Right. Let's make this recommendation that these are our guidelines. We're between this height and this height. Right. And then an applicant knows, ah, I'm pushing the envelope by coming in with 28 inches. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I think, it, I think it's good. Yeah. I, I always think it's really nice how, how most applicants, since I've been doing this, I can think of three that have gone to the Board of Commissioners to have um, relief from what we've said, that most of them want to be a part of a community and they want to be respectful of the other businesses and not try to dominate. So I think it's, it's nice to offer them the guidelines. Mm -hmm. Okay, that's my yeah. only suggestion. Yeah, well, I think it's a great idea. No. So it certainly will remove any uh, debate yeah. right. that you would have about what is, what is written. There's nothing in the zoning. Yeah, no, nope. you didn't say anything. Yeah, yeah. yeah. okay. Okay, good. Great, that's All my right. only thought. Okay, terrific. Anything else? Okay. No, I'm good. Peggy, awesome. Ray, you're good? Okay, let's call it a night. Okay. Thank you. Thank, Thank you, guys. You.